In Solidity, strings are not super famous to manipulate, but in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of tricks, like how you can concatenate two strings, how you can find the length of a string, etc. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. So, first trick, how to find the length of a string. So, let's do this, let's create a function length. So, we define our string as argument. This is going to return an integer. So we cannot just do str.length like we can in other programming language like JavaScript or Python. Before, we need to cast our string into a byte. And after, on the bytes type, we can access length. And we just have to return this. Okay, so let's try it right away if it works. So for example, A, B, C, D, length four. Yes, success. Okay, so next let's see how can we concatenate two strings in Solidity. So let's do this function concatenate and two argument will be string. So A and, oh, you know what? This is gonna take a lot of space so string cool data b string uh what i'm saying yeah like this okay okay, okay. after that let's make this external let's make this pure and it's going to return a string in memory this time okay so can we just do return a plus b ha that would be too easy no we can't do this however the trick we're going to use is to use an obscure function in solidity called abi dot encode packed and this is going to concatenate our two variable into a bytes type but this is not okay because we want a string so from a byte type we can cast it back into a string with the string operator that way here i forgot a comma okay so let's redeploy our smart contract let's try to concatenate uh hello world concatenate and yes it works Next, how can we reverse a string? Let's do this. So I'm gonna create a function called reverse string called data underscore str. External pure, it's going to return a string in memory. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is to turn our argument into a byte. So let's do this So we define a new variable of type bytes in memory called str and after we're going to create another variable of type bytes that has exactly the same length as the byte and this is this temporary byte that we're going to use to copy the reverse string so you might be tempted to do something like bytes memory uh, new str in a uh, bytes of str but if you do this actually you're gonna have two pointer to the same kind of data you're not gonna have a an empty copy so that's not what we want so instead here we're gonna create a new string that has the same length as the bytes before and this is gonna be a string and we just need this temporarily so let's call this TMP and after we're gonna build a bytes variable based on this temporary string so and this is gonna be the reverse string in the end here we build our bytes based on TMP okay and after we're gonna iterate on the str variable so let's do this ok 
okay so we iterate until we reach the end of the string okay. open curly braces here and we're going to fill the reverse byte by starting by the end so this year length minus i minus one because this is zero indexed and this is equal to str of i so the beginning of the string and at the end we're gonna return this reverse byte but we need to cast it into a string first all right so let's deploy this let's make sure it works a b c d e f uh-huh it, it works yeah next how can we compare that the two strings are equal let's do this function compare it's gonna accept two argument okay let's copy paste this external it's pure and it's going to return a boolean value okay so can we just do a equal equal b that would be easy right haha <laughs> we can do this but we can use a trick so basically we're going to compute the hashes of a and b and compare these hashes since these hashes will be byte 32 that's easy to compare them in solidity so let's do this so the first step is to use abi dot encode packed to transform this into a byte once you have bytes you can feed it to the hashing function kchak256 and after you can do the same thing for the other variable and after you have the right to compare your two bytes 32 it's going to work so let's redeploy our smart contract and let's compare i don't know abc abc yeah that's true okay let's change just a bit a b c and a b c c compare false yeah it works one thing to keep in mind is that it's not very efficient to manipulate strings in solidity and it tends to consume a lot of gas so if you can it's actually better to avoid to do any string manipulation in solidity for example, you can try to replace strings by bytes and if you know in advance what will be the size of your string, you can even give a limit to your byte type, for example, a byte uh, 32. Next, if you want to see some other cool tricks in Solidity, check out this playlist. I'll see you there.